I've known Isaac Luna for years. He's a good puller, a better friend. My life is better for having known him. Isaac Luna is pound for pound the strongest arm wrestler in America. Never have four as developed as Isaac Luna. All right, you're in Luna Gym. See if I can show you how to build some big ass forearms. Let's get it. Okay, so first exercise is bouncing pull ups on thick spinning handles. I really enjoy this movement when I'm healthy, it really beats up the wrist conditions it to take those hits and just keep it from buckling. You know, just stretching those tendons. Um, generally sets of 12 on this. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, again with the bands, this time it's going to be for the brachialis and the bicep. Um, bouncing on that bicep, hammer curl style, letting the, the arm catch my body weight. Try not to let my arms open during the impact. Hard curl, explode up, catch with the lock, and repeat. One band in the hand, one on the wrist. Um, I usually go for about 21 reps on these. Okay, this is a handle I got from Arm Assassin Strength Shop. Um, spinning handles, it was meant for it to be a lat pull down, but I'm using it for a prone row. Um, just really burns the hand out. Uh, also ties into that rear delt. Yep, roll out to the fingers, wrist curl, pull it in. Great finishing exercise. Okay, this one's the uh, country crush handle, two inch for me. Um, anyone can do this one. Um, just a husky strap from the ceiling, chair, wrist curl to the sternum, squeeze. Usually go from 12 to 21 reps on these. This one I picked up from Matt Gardner when I first started. Uh, he was big into ropes and it, he had a monster hook so Basically, we're just rolling out to the fingertips, supinate in, and wrist curl hard at the top. Roll out in control to the fingertips, squeeze, roll in, wrist curl. Keep your knees up, work the abs. Okay, this exercise I like a lot. This is really good for the strap when people want to pull straight back great containment exercise um, usually go super super heavy on this not going heavy on anything in this video because you know 20 wrist exercises after work is not agreeing with my body right now yep. great containment exercise stop them dead in their tracks when they hit back 
not so much sideways but there's other workouts for that definitely one of my bread and butter exercises Okay, same thing, bumping up the weight. Um, generally, I'll work all the way up to singles on this. Definitely wanna go as hard and heavy as possible on these. Barbell wrist curls, I actually learned this when I was a kid from Bosgen. Um, you definitely wanna start light, you wanna warm up. Um, I've hurt myself doing this before, going way too heavy way too soon. So the way I'm doing it right now, I'm squeezing with the pinky and the ring finger. Forearms and hands are together. This is gonna hit the pinky side of your wrist. This is great for uh, hooking, um, shoulder pressing. For the first couple sets, it would be around 21 reps. It's um, it's a notorious lactic acid movement for sure. But you just gotta push through, squeeze at the top. I don't roll out to my fingers for working sets and I don't go all the way down for working sets, I'll go flat. So what I'm doing here is I'm 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 going wider on the hands. So this, this is good if you want to hit the index finger and the middle finger portion of the wrist. Great for top rollers. You need to push up and over their hands. This is the, it's a great way to strengthen that. I think my all time best on this is about 225 at 145 pounds. Um, Vosgen actually told me he hit 315 for a single on this, which is super impressive. Okay, so I do my finger curls a little different. I don't roll my fingers and then all the way out and then roll my fingers in. I make a 90 degree angle with my fingers and I let it roll down to the, my fingertips and then I don't bring the bar up with my fingertips. I bend my wrist to let the bar slide into my palm. So fingertips wrist curl to the palm, let it roll out to the fingertips, wrist curl into the palm, a better angle, so boom, 90 degrees, fingertips, wrist curl into the palm, fingertips, wrist curl into the palm. Okay, this movement actually saved my elbow. I was having some weird nagging pains on the inside of my elbow. Uh, this completely took it away. Uh, supination curls, great movement for the hook. Setting the hook, initiating supination, getting in there with the shoulder. Even if you're not a hooker, I would recommend this because like I said, it fixed my elbow. I mean, if you just need to want to be balanced out, this, this is the way to go. Stretch, squeeze up top to the chin, as high as you can go, prone it, or supinate as hard as you can. Movements like this is what's going to bring my right hook back for sure. Okay, same thing, different angle. Boom, supinate up to the chin, roll out completely. And of course, when we're doing this for arm wrestling, our range isn't gonna be as big and I'll most likely do it on the table, but this is great for just overall, just arm health. Okay, so this is the top roll handle. Everyone uses this for pronation. I really enjoy using this for rising. It feels really, really good. Just working that start angle. Boom, not too much movement, just really focus on rising. Visualizing that strap on my hand and 
pushing up as hard as I can up in that strap, just eating that person's hand. Can't really go too heavy on this. It's such such a fragile muscle, such a weak muscle group. High reps on this one for sure. Great finishing exercise. Okay, so this is a bench assisted wrist curl. This is a great movement if you're not super flexible in the supination. Um, if you have a hard time getting down and doing it on the bench, like uh, like I was doing in the barbell wrist curls, this is a great movement. Also, if your side pressure is hurting you, if, if your back's hurting you, this is just a super good isolation movement. Um, just puts it all on the wrist and nowhere else. There we go. Not so much putting it on the fingers, but putting it where the fingers connect to the palm. That very, very, that you're punching knuckles. Boom. I do high reps on this, but I also go up to about five reps. Really hit some power. Just another angle kind of showing you where I like to do it from. I kind of envision a top roller not pulling straight back, but giving me a little bit of side pressure. So it's almost that 45 degrees, just a little bit less. You just want full tension throughout the whole movement. So this is a, a really good game I like to play. And this this stresses the tendons like nothing else. So the, the, the rules of the game is literally just pick that damn thing up and get it to the other side of the stall mat. Basically, if you can pick it up and walk across the stall mat without five fails, the weight the weight is just way too light. I go super heavy on this. I mean, I go so heavy, I might be able to move it an inch at a time. I mean, my longest time to get across the stall mat was probably 10 minutes. I mean, you're maxing out over and over and over, and you do not stop until you get across that stall mat. Great way to really stress those tendons, shock the body. Can't do it all the time, obviously. It, it puts a, a lot of strain on your hand, wrist. Um, I even get a little bit of side pressure pain from this. But um, once a week, once every two weeks, um, I, I've seen big gains from this movement. Whatever it takes, start in a wrist curl, whatever it takes get across the mat, never lower the weight, make it happen. Works calling, they can wait. Go. Cool. Another great finishing workout. Just give it everything you got and go home. You know you did your best. I'm dying at this point. My fingers are numb. My hand's dead. Life or death. There you go. Every lift, just visualizing that image. Ready, go. Playing over and over in my head. Ready, go. So this is a great movement. I actually don't know anyone that does this. Everyone does table curls. I especially like um, reverse wrist curls on the table. So you go down at the bottom of the movement and you feel all those tendons getting stretched on the back of your wrist all the way down the forearm. You can't go too heavy, obviously. Stretch, 
up. Stretch up over and over. Great for health. Another great finishing exercise. Okay, this is a superset I like to do. This is reverse uh, reverse curls on the easy curl bar, immediately followed by normal curls. I like to do them seated. It's uh, sitting. It's just a little more strict. Um, I put the the back guard up, the seat up, so I can never lean back because I don't want to cheat myself. I, if anything, I lean forward and try to stay in the power zone. Um, I want all the weight towards the top, um, less than 90 degrees. That's where I'm aiming to be strong. Um, squeeze at the top, slow on the down. Up, squeeze, down. Yep, first sets I'll probably do 21 reps and I'll work my way up to about mm, five reps. Okay, this is probably the bread and butter of my arm development. I actually got this from Corey Miller when I was starting out. So you take the weight, you wrist curl it, and you curl it up to your sternum. It's not like a normal dumbbell, dumbbell row where you'll pull to your hip and work your lat. It's gonna test your fingers at the bottom, you wrist curl, you pull up with your lat, and you curl into your sternum. This is great for everyone. This is great for top rollers. Pull them to the back of the pad. This is good for hookers. Getting it in tight. Just overall arm development. I love this exercise. I mean, anyone, anytime anyone asks me what to do for their wrist, this is what I tell them. This is what I tell every person that I meet when they ask me about Isaac Luna. The dude on the internet and in pictures looks like a monster. But when you meet him in person, finally, he's just a little fella. <laughs> but I mean that in all sincerity because he is, what, maybe four foot nine of solid muscle. <laughs> he's a bad dude. Love you, Isaac. Isaac Luna. A fantastic arm wrestler, good mentor, good coach. I remember the first time I met him, I knocked on the door, he let me in, didn't say a word to me, sat on his couch. He was watching, laugh, I don't know which one. I sat there intimidated. It was my third week in arm wrestling and the way he shook my hand uh, made my knees buckle a touch. Uh, but through the months and through the journey of arm wrestling, he has uh, been gracious, kind, humble, and has taught me a ton. A uh, very smart guy, a uh, very strong guy, a uh, very humble guy. Uh, sometimes too humble, to be honest. But uh, it's a it's a joy to get to pull with someone that strong and that talented. Uh, I look forward to finally smoking him in a few years when I uh, get good. So I know Isaac for ten plus years. He's one of the best lightweights in the United States and he's not a big guy but with his body size he could manage to gain such a muscle mass like, so impressive and the amount of strength that he can provide on the table is like amazing I've seen videos he's beating middleweights and even heavier than middleweight guys amazing power, nicest guy ever, and always pleasure to meet him and to pull him. So that's the video. I hope you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I, squip, I skipped quite a few handles, um, just because everyone posts about them, the wrist wrench, the, the multi-spinner, the cupinator. So I wanted to kind of show you guys a couple things that I haven't seen on the internet yet that have been really useful for me. So if you have any questions, just reach out to me on Facebook. I'll, I'll try to get back to you. If you like the video, leave it a like, share it with your friends, and uh, stay strong. So the truth.
two so-called eyes in Kumbha. It's a pussy, always scared to show in tournaments and pull jumpers and get like Richard Lopez. Just a pussy guy. Just go, just get killed. What's the problem? I don't know. Ugly as shit. Weak as fuck. Those I know in English. Good morning. Oh, okay, that's not the problem. Whatever. You know. Whenever you get strong, call Devin. Ha 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 